Free gift double speak. What's that? I'll get to the double speak in a moment, but first, let's talk about free gift. Eternal life is a free gift. Eternal life is a 100% free gift. How many people in the world do you think know that? I'm going to give you my opinion. I think less than 1% of everyone in the world knows that eternal life is a free gift. And I believe that most people sitting in churches do not know that eternal life is a free gift. Romans 6.23 says, For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Also look at Ephesians chapter 2, verse 8 and 9, and also Romans chapter 5, verses 15 through 18. If you look at those Roman verses, you'll see the words gift and free gift six times in those verses. There's no doubt that eternal life is a free gift. Eternal life is a free gift because Jesus did all the work. He did all the work for this free gift for us on the cross. He went to the cross with our sins. He died for our sins. He was buried and he rose from the dead. That's the saving gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ defined at 1 Corinthians chapter 15, 1 through 4. Jesus did all the work. Jesus did all the work. And he offers us the free gift of eternal life. How do we receive the free gift of eternal life? It is so simple. John 1, 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. To receive the free gift of eternal life, you simply believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. The object of your faith, your belief, the object of your trust for eternal life must be totally 100% on the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, Satan does not want people to know that eternal life is a free gift. And one thing that he does with his ministers is engages in doublespeak. What is free gift doublespeak? Several years ago, I read a religious book. I went to my library to try to find it. I couldn't find it. But to the best of my memory, the author said something like this. Yes, eternal life is a free gift, but we have to do our part. We have to obey the commands of Jesus. <laughs> That's doublespeak. Obeying the commands of Jesus is working. And Jesus did all the work. That's doublespeak. When you tell people eternal life is a free gift, but we've got to do our part. We've got to obey all the commands of Jesus. Now, that's kind of standard. Most churches, most teachers teach some kind of works gospel. Please take a look at my video, 86 Doctrines of Devils. It identifies 11 popular works gospels that are right now being taught in major religious denominations in the United States of America. Bottom line, get the word out that eternal life is a free gift. Jesus did all the work. And you receive that free gift by putting your faith, belief, trust in Jesus, him alone, and nothing else. I will end with two questions. Question number one. Have you received the free gift of eternal life? Question number two. If you're a teacher, do you teach people that eternal life is a 100% free gift?